штука собирается. Он уже звонил, он уже звонил. Звонил, звонил. А мы уже. А мы что до этого, да? Мы до этого серьезно. Андрей! Ukrainian Baba Yaga drones terrified Russians, military man on battles in Volchansk. During urban battles in Volchansk, it was necessary to maintain a circular defense because the enemy could appear anywhere. This was stated by a fighter of the 13th Brigade of the National Guard, Charta, which defends the north of Kharkiv region, Andriy, in an interview with Army TV. He noted that before this, his brigade fought in the Serebryansky forest, where it was very difficult, but in Vovchansk, we saw a real war and it was very difficult. Urban fighting, many civilians who run away, many faggots who attack. In the first days, there was chaos. No one could understand who was who, Andri said. According to him, it was necessary to maintain a 360-degree defense because it was not clear where the enemy attack could come from. These are urban developments. Everything is very dense and it is very difficult to control all sectors. There are sheds, trees, and you don't know where that catsap will appear from. The soldier explained. Andre added that the occupiers often changed into civilian clothes, hid the machine gun on themselves, and walked around the city. He also said that the enemy had suffered heavy losses. The soldier showed photos to confirm this, showing that dead Russians literally covered the city blocks. When we took their radio, we heard them ordering reinforcements. Let's have another platoon for the evening, because we're running out of people. And for tomorrow, let's have a company, Andre said. According to him, our UAVs destroyed a lot of Russians, so the occupiers panicked. If an FPV drone or some kind of drop flies, then there is fear. They are very afraid of our Baba Yaga drone bomber, which flies at night and drops. Our guys, when they took prisoners and took them out, then Baba Yaga flew, then the Russians shook, fell to the ground from fear the military man said. Andre noted that in June, Volchansk was already hard to recognize. For example, in place of the private sector, there was flat land. Everything was destroyed by the enemy. In early May, Russian occupiers began to advance in the Kharkov region and captured several settlements near the border with Russia. Serious fighting continued for the city of Volchansk. The representative of the Operational Strategic Group of Forces, Kortitsya, Nazar Voloshin, said that the enemy lost the once elite Russian 83rd Separate Airborne Assault Brigade in the area of Volchansk in the Kharkov region. He noted that most likely the Russians will withdraw this unit or replenish it, transferring from other areas of the front. Страшная трагедия происходит прямо сейчас. Горит заповедник Большой Утрич, дорогие друзья, в районе Сухой Щели. Это чуть-чуть дальше Малого Утрича. Жесть, ребята, просто жесть. Сильнейший пожар. Все. Дорогу отрезана. Баса горит вся. Стоянка с автомобилями тоже горит. Все, кто остались целые тачки, вот сюда приехали. На Абрау не выйдешь. База отдыха моряк. В районе Романтика.
прямо сейчас горит заповедник Большой Утрич, дорогие друзья, в районе Сухой Щели. Это чуть-чуть дальше Малого Утреша. Жесть, ребята, просто жесть. горит вся стоянка с автомобилями тоже горит все кто остались целые тачки вот сюда приехали на не выйдешь все люди уже третью базу проходят чтобы убежать вот от огня огонь очень сильно быстро распространяется по всей территории леса от голубой волны через фрегат и дальше мы все идем и идем. 